Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher, and Anna and I were just about to take a walk, and we were going to take you with us. But I wanted to stop for a minute and just say thank you all so, so very much for your generosity. I went down to HF&C the other day to go pick up our monthly pallet of Alpha Pro and was completely blown away by the generosity and all the gifts that you guys sent us that were on our account. I, I can't thank you enough. We truly, truly appreciate all of your gratitude and generosity and support through all of this. We can't, we can't thank you enough. And I just wanted to stop and take a minute and say thank you all so, so very much. Uh, the support is overwhelming and Corey and I are, are just so grateful for all of you and for all of your support and generosity. So thank you all so, so very much for sending gifts. And if you do want to still send us a gift, uh, you can call HF and see, I'll put their phone number in the description below. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll put their phone number in the description below and their contact information. So if you want to send a gift, just tell them you're sending a gift to Fletcher Farms Amarillo and they'll get that put on our account. But thank you so much to everybody that has sent gifts already. We truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So Anna and I are going to uh, take a walk. I took her for a walk yesterday, which I'll have video in here as well. I took her for a walk yesterday kind of just over in the outside area outside the fence that has a lot of good green grass for her to graze on. Um, we did have a concern towards the beginning of this week. She has a lump on her stomach. I'll, I'll take the camera in there in a second, but she has a lump on her stomach. Um, I wasn't sure what it was from. It's uh, just in front of her teats. Uh, I sent a picture to Dr. Wagner down at MVP and she thinks that it's possibly her milk sac drying up and just part of, part of that. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on it and make sure it's getting better. It looks better today than it did the other day, and her leg swelling is also looking much better today for sure. Uh, the left leg is going down, the right leg, uh, the right leg is going down a lot more than the left. So the more walks we take and the more we get her moving around, the better it's going to be. She does seem a little bit more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um, and her little spirits are coming out too. Uh, I think it's because the Alpha Pro, and we're getting her, getting her ramped up on Alpha Pro and making her feel a little bit better because she's going to be getting more, more of the vitamins and minerals that she needs. Because hay does support their diet, but it doesn't give them everything. That's kind of like us eating lettuce all day long. So it doesn't have all the vitamins and minerals in it that she needs. So her Alpha Pro and her hay. She is eating hay like a champ. Yes, we are. And we're gonna go get some green grass now. So I'm gonna get her haltered up and then uh, we're gonna go for a walk. Yeah, you wanna go for walkies? No, you just wanna eat, don't you? Yeah. This beautiful halter was a gift from one of our subscribers for Anna. I think it's absolutely beautiful on her. I do have a video which I'll include. Oh, thank you, very good. I do have a video which I'll include of putting it on for the first time and trying it on for her. So I will include that. But thank you to the subscriber that sent Anna this beautiful new halter. Because it fits perfectly. <laughs> yeah, are you ready to go for a walk? Anna wanted to model her brand new halter that was sent to her as a gift from one of our subscribers. Can you turn the other way so they can see it? Yeah, it's so pretty. I know it's so pretty. I know it's such a pretty girl. Yeah, there you go. Good job, show her the other side. Yeah, good job. I know that's beautiful. Thank you so much for the beautiful halter. We truly appreciate it. Anna loves it, and I think it looks great on her. Thank you so much. Let's go, baby. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, big girl. Good girl. I know we go for walkies. I know, it's exciting. Good girl. So before we go out, I'll show you her lump. But it's just right under her belly right there. Right there, that little lump. Um, Dr. Wagner said she believes it's from um, her milk sack drying up. So we're gonna go take a walk and we're gonna go over here. Come on, sweet girl.
Oh, we want to eat this grass, okay. <laughs> it's actually a little chilly here today. It's probably only about 65 this morning. It was kind of cold. So our goal is just to get Anna out and walking around because she just needs to get some more movement and um, just to get that swelling down. This is perfect. I don't have to weed eat this now. <laughs> I know, you hear the chickens? Yeah, the chickens, do you hear them? I told Corey the other day I got a new lawnmower. <laughs> Yeah? I know you didn't think that was a funny joke, did you? But she is looking much better. She is a little bit more bright-eyed and has a little bit more of her personalities coming out every single day, so that's been really good. I did put this in fast forward because we did spend about three hours walking around the property. I just included some of the videos that I thought were cute. So this was her just walking around and the cats were in the background. So I thought that was pretty funny as well. I know. I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? She was feeling very chatty yesterday. <laughs> what are you talking about? So Anna just walked herself back into the barn. She was she was done. She literally just literally walked from the other side of the pasture and she walked right back into the barn and wanted to go in. Just got a big drink of water and um, we'll take her back out again this afternoon for probably another walk. Yeah, you're a good girl, baby. Yeah. Good girl. So after breakfast, when all the horses would go out to the pasture area, the horse in front is Sophie, then Charlie in his grazing muzzle, Aline is closest to the camera, and then Freya is behind her, uh, passing her right now. And then... Cammie is on the left and Miley is in the lick tub on the right. But once they would go out in the morning to the big pasture, I would let Anna out in this area so we could do some grazing and walking around and just getting her legs moving so we can hopefully get some of that swelling down. So this is the picture of her lump. As you can see, it was a lot worse on Monday. This was what I sent to Dr. Wagner. Uh, it's getting better, so that's a good thing. So this was a picture I caught of Anna when we were out in the paddock walking around. She was making a funny face. 
And then this was just another picture of her waiting for Alpha Pro for dinner one night. You can tell how much perkier she is and that made me happy. So I did change from walking her around the paddock area out to this other pasture because there's a lot of green grass out here and two inside the paddock area is where the lick tub is and she just really wanted to stand there and lick on the lick tub. But with her diet the way it is right now she can't have the lick tub because it's too rich for her diet. In a couple weeks though we will add lick tub in for her. So being just on the other side of this fence it was the first time that the horses actually got a good look at Anna. They can't really get down to her paddock area and I still don't want them touching noses yet so this was the first time that everyone kind of got to see her. And they were all coming over to, to the fence to welcome her so that was pretty pretty cute. So on the left over there that's Cammy, and then Charlie's there in the middle. Aline is there on the right. Freya's coming up behind Aline and obviously that's Jack the donkey. And I think out there in the pasture area I think that's Sophie. I know this whole video has mostly been Anna grazing, but I caught this angle the other day with the right light and you can see really how skinny she actually really is. I need to actually take a picture of the top of her so you can see her spine and her ribs and, and everything. Just so you can see the magnitude of how neglected she was and how skinny she really is. But she's on the road to recovery and that's what matters now. So this was at HFNC the other day. They were loading up Alpha Pro for me and this should last us about a month. Now it's time to unload the Alpha Pro. This was actually a pretty long video so I figured I'd speed it up for you. This was a time lapse video of unloading all the Alpha Pro. Our tractor can't pick this, pick the pallet up and we can't actually get the pallet in there so we have to unload Alpha Pro by hand. So this was me getting in my workout for the day of unloading probably about 50, 50 pound bags of Alpha Pro. Alpha Pro unloaded and it's, uh, I think those thermometers over there say it's 97 degrees. So as much as I want y'all to think that I sit around and play with animals all day, I really don't. I do things like this, I also mow the grass. <laughs> and all kinds of other farm stuff around here, so. Good times, I'm gonna go get hydrated now. And that's what we've been up to, and thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And put your comments below on what kind of videos you wanna see of the animals. Um, I do need to do an update on all the rest of the horses as well, so. And Charlie's grazing muggle. <laughs> so I owe you a couple videos, but I'm going to keep them coming. And thank you again all so much for your support. We truly appreciate it.